Tina Calderon has been a lifelong public school advocate, and she was elected to the Seminole County Board, uh, Seminole County School Board in 2010, and serves as board chairman today. Tina has had an extensive, diverse, and successful career that includes education, marketing, sales, public relations, fundraising, and training. During her tenure as the executive director of the Foundation for Seminole County Public Schools, she raised more than $4 million for students and teachers. A community leader and volunteer, she has been on the boards of many organizations, including America's Charities and Progress, uh, and Progress Energy uh, uh, UCF Education Leadership Institute. She's been recognized with the, the Women Who Mean Business Award from the Orlando Business Journal and the Chamber Member of the Year Award from the Greater Seminole County Chamber of Commerce. She earned a bachelor's degree uh, from Central Connecticut State University and both a master's degree in educational administration and a doctoral degree in educational leadership from the University of Florida. Please welcome a dedicated public servant who is committed to the education and welfare of our region's children, Dr. Tina Calderon. Thank you, President Hitt. To the Board of Trustees, administration, faculty, staff, families, friends, but most importantly, to the graduates of the class of 2016, I thank you. I thank you for the honor to join in your celebration this afternoon, and I thank you for choosing the most noble professions of all, education and healthcare. Many leaders in many industries talk about shaping the future, but I can tell you from experience that each of you will literally do it every day for the rest of your careers. Whenever I get a call from UCF, I always say yes. The university is such a wonderful partner with Seminole County Public Schools. I'm always excited to support our fantastic collaborative programs, like our counselor education experiences for our families at Hamilton Elementary, or our student internships at almost every one of our schools, and the new friends program for our pre-K students. But when I was asked to deliver this commencement address, I realized my say yes to UCF habit had finally caught up with me, and I was in trouble. I've never prepared a commencement address before, and I had no idea where to start. So I did what any good doctoral level researcher would do. I Googled it, and I asked Surrey. <laughs> and please let the record show that she was of absolutely no help whatsoever. So I sat back in my chair, and I tried to think about what I would say today. I thought of some sage advice and remembered some life lessons that would have helped me when I was sitting in your seats. But as I sat thinking about what it means to be an educator or a caregiver, I kept thinking about a little girl named Beth, and I'd like to start today by talking about her. I met Beth last year when she was in fourth grade at one of our schools in Seminole County. I was fortunate enough to be her mentor. She attended one of our At Promise schools. Yes. I said, at promise and not at risk. Remember that your mindset is contagious, so choose it wisely. Beth lived with her father and her special needs brother at the time. Her mother was in prison for the rest of her life. Beth was homeless, living either in an unair conditioned boat or in a motel room. She had nothing, but she loved everything. She was always so excited to see me but I was the one getting the better end of our bargain. Seeing Beth was the highlight of my week. When I was with her, I felt like I was making a difference in the world. I learned to be a better person because of her. Beth never envisioned going to college until I told her that she could. She never brushed her hair until I showed her how. And she never used a napkin until I role modeled the correct behavior. Every one of you will meet someone like Beth as you go about your important work each day. Some of you will meet a lot of people like her. They may be students or patients, clients or colleagues, children or adults. They may be poor or they may be very rich. And you may never know what your kindness and your passion for service has done for them. 
but how lucky we are to have the chance to make this kind of a difference in the people's lives. It's an incredible opportunity and an awesome responsibility. Many leaders in many industries talk about shaping the future, but I can tell you from experience that each of you will literally do it every day for the rest of your careers. I try my best to live life by the three Ps, passion, purpose, and persistence. When you find your passion, it will develop into your purpose if you stay persistent. I learned at a young age that I was passionate about helping others through my service and my leadership. My mother never attended college, but she always reminded me that knowledge is power. It's the one thing that no one can take away from you, and you can give it to so many others. In fact, Winston Churchill said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. I have truly found my purpose in life by serving as a school board member. I feel this is what God put me on this earth to do, and I hope you will find your purpose as well. When I was in your seat quite a few years ago, I thought I would be an elementary school teacher for the rest of my life. Well, life happens along the way, but because I followed my authentic passion to serve others, things have ended up better than I could have ever imagined when I was graduating college. I've taught school, been a college administrator, and served as an executive in national corporations. I've received important pieces of paper, like the one you will get today, but the most important titles I hold are that of friend, wife, and mother. Relationships must be cherished. As a friend of mine has told me, we are human beings, not human doers. Take the time to worship and nurture those precious people in your life by being you. Be present when you spend time with a family, a student, a client, or a patient. It could make all the difference in the world. It could even save a life. When you slow down enough to be instead of do, this is when you can learn your biggest life lessons. Earlier this year in Seminole County, we were faced with an opportunity regarding truancy at one of our At Promise schools, a school with nearly a 100% poverty rate. We know the children will only learn if they're in school, so we decided to reward those students who kept their promise to come to class and give their best effort every day. On a teacher workday, the superintendent, our entire executive cabinet, and I embarked on a journey of a lifetime. We took nearly 100 students on a sunrail trip from Sanford to see the mummies exhibit at the Orlando Science Center. Most of these children had never left the city of Sanford before, much less ride on a train. What I witnessed at the Science Center that day, when I allowed myself to be in the moment, was nothing short of remarkable. I was experiencing joy through the eyes of these students. After the tour through the mummies exhibit, one boy laid in the Science Center's dinosaur dig area and covered himself with the small rubber pellets used to hide the fake dinosaur bones. He looked up at me and said, is this what a beach feels like? Another girl insisted on waiting quietly and patiently in the line to sign the comment guest book at the exit to the mummy exhibit, just so she could write the words, thank you, and signed her name. But the coup de grace that day that occurred was when we returned to Sanford, and I received the biggest bear hug ever from a student who thanked me for the best day of her entire life. Life doesn't get much better than that. Many leaders of many industries talk about shaping the future, but I can tell you from experience that each of you will literally do it every day for the rest of your career. Thank you for heeding this important calling. Now let's talk about that third P, persistence. Through your persistence, you are now being awarded a degree from the second largest university in the country. Your College of Education and Human Performance is the largest producer of education degrees in Florida, and your programs consistently rank among the top in the nation. 
Your students in the College of Nursing's pass rate for certification exceed both the state and national average, and the Student Nurses Association has received accolades and awards at both the state and national levels as well. We all know that UCF stands for opportunity. So go out there and seize every opportunity you are afforded with tireless passion, purpose, and persistence. You will spend the majority of your waking hours at work. So do what you believe to be great work. Love what you do. Don't ever settle. Stay optimistic and know that you can make the future better than the past. You must exercise both your mind and heart to come up with the creative solutions necessary to help shape the future. By teaching a child to read who is two grade levels below where they should be reading. By helping someone learn to walk again or working tirelessly to save a cancer patient's life. Don't ever, ever give up. Before I close today with a short parable, I have two very important messages to share. Seminole County Public Schools loves having UCF grads join our family. And we are hiring, so please look us up. And after your graduation ceremonies this weekend, please don't forget to call your mother on Sunday for Mother's Day to tell her you love her. Now, here's the parable. It's one of my favorites from a pencil maker as he was placing his pencils into a box. Everything you do will always leave a mark. You can always correct the mistakes you make. What is important is inside of you. In life, you will undergo painful sharpenings which will only make you better. To be the best pencil, you must allow yourself to be held and guided by the hand that holds you. You have left your mark on the UCF campus. Now go leave a mark in the community that will make us all proud. Use the talents inside of you to share your passion and purpose and stay persistent even after life's painful sharpenings. God bless you all, and congratulations to the class of 2016.